be Steve's choice. So looking at Steve's deck list here, we see some uh, really cool cards here. We see Wingman. Uh, allows him to activate more of his characters at once. Yeah, Wingman, you have to play it on a red character. When another red player activates, you get to activate the attached character. Yep. Uh, suppression, which is uh, a way of... Uh, it's a dice removal for, for mono red. Right. It's, it's just it's kind of expensive. No, Suppression no, is the other free one. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 you have you to remove, remove a ranged range. red die to remove any opponent die. Yeah. Uh, he does have Imperial Inspection, which actually makes sense in a deck with two Death Troopers. You have two dice that can potentially do... Uh, yeah. Now, I will say, though, that it, not that well, useful against Pomaz, really. I mean, what are you so, bouncing? Fast hands, yeah. cunning? Yeah. yeah. So, sorry. Just uh, quickly here. Hit and run. Roll uh, uh, Poe in. Five damage showing. Went straight on FN. Right through his two shields. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so some uh, Imperial Inspection. I don't think it'll come into play as much this time. Um, Undying Loyalty. What is uh, that card? Undying Loyalty. I don't re remember that card. Is it? No, it's a new one. It's the one with all the stormtroopers on it, right? And the art, like the sea of stormtroopers. Are you thinking about the alt art for the best defense? No, no, no. I'm thinking. Oh, oh it's the one where you uh, heal a damage, and then if it's another card in your discard pile, you pay one to put it back on top or something. That's the one, right? I know the one you're talking about. Okay. So this is a very grindy deck. Now I will say, looking at Steve's deck list here, that he doesn't actually have a lot of weapons. To trigger off FN, so it looks like FN is more of a, you know, um, I'm gonna get some bonus by paying weapons, and it's another, I, I guess, plus one HP. Uh, so we see Jason playing Negotiate. Now, Negotiate's actually a really good removal card uh, in a meta that you're playing against Palpatine. It's it's brutal against Palpatine if you can roll out first. And against other Pomaz da uh, dice that don't have a lot of upgrades, so you're really only. Um, seeing about like between two to four dice on the in the pool at any one time uh, negotiate went from a fairly weak card I think in Awakenings meta to like a pretty strong one in the Spirit of Rebellion meta yeah DJ Big Russ I'm uh, I'm hoping to see uh, Steve do some work here I mean not to say that Jason isn't a good player or anything but I think you know there's a bit of like a rooting for the underdog kind of going on here no, I don't know if I'd load up the non-weapons on FN like this. I mean, this is going to give you some cheap upgrade options, but... Yeah, I mean, he's always going to be the first target, I suppose, anyway, because once you take down FN, well, then uh, your money production becomes a lot more difficult. So, uh, Ernest, there are 30 people who came out to the event today. So, pretty reasonable turnout. I mean, this, this is going to be every month... Every weekend this month, there's a store championship here in the Toronto area, so there's lots of options. Yeah. So we'll never quite get the peak, even though it's a big area. But uh, I think this, this may be probably the biggest uh, local turnout that we yeah. have. We're, we're having another Destiny tournament in the Toronto area at Face to Face Games next Saturday, and we will be live streaming that as well. So uh, any of you guys watching, be sure to subscribe to our Twitch and or our YouTube. And uh, yeah, tune in next Saturday at noon. We're going to have more Destiny action for you. So, so, yeah, I don't think that um, Steve is playing en Endless Ranks. No, I don't think you play that in this deck. You don't have the money for it. But he is playing Battle Formation, yep. which will let him... It's an ambush card that will let him roll uh, as many dice as he has red characters. Yep. So there's FN rolling out the... Uh, doesn't have money to pay for it, unfortunately. Best defense... No, I don't think that was best defense. That looks like suppression to me. Unless you were thinking uh, Gallomaniac. Unless you're thinking of another card that you discarded there. Because I do agree, the best defense is amazing against Poe. Uh, you would rather take three damage than uh, eat whatever Poe wants to throw at you. Well, yeah, and you get to put it on one of the death creepers. Yeah. So here's a, here's a roll-up by FN. Now, wait, wait, was that die already in the... No, he must have resolved it. Okay. He, resolved, he didn't resolve it. He used no. it for the, the suppression, so he discarded that ranged die to get rid of one of uh, yeah. the die. Oh, sh... Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, we're going to... Well, uh, we missed it, too. I'm just going to go over there and inform them, but at this point, I mean, the game state has changed so much that I think they're just going to have to play on, but I will remind the players that... Suppression does have to be right back. 
Thanks, Dead Cop, for uh, ruling that. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot roll things back at this point. We just want to make sure that we doesn't make that mistake again. So making the third two rounds and only having the three damage on FN is pretty good position for Steve to be in. He hasn't done a ton of damage himself, which is not ideal, but... So rolls in with the three damage pay side and uh, one disrupt on Poe. Wingman, the card that's making all these mono red decks, uh, swarm decks, uh, a little bit faster against this uh, fast hands meta. Rolls and Maz, no focus to take advantage of Poe with. Uh, but he does have two resources, so he could deal four damage to FN right now, which he chooses to do, I'm, I believe. <coughs> um, I feel like... No, Steve was running Rebel War Room. Yeah. Yeah, that's his battlefield. But of course, uh, Jason decided to go with Frozen Wastes for his. Uh, Tiff J200. Actually, I've seen uh, Throne Room fall out of favor in Podex lately. I think it's just because, uh, especially with the ways you can build Po Maz, like, you know, you put a bunch of focus results on Maz, Maz herself having a bunch of focus sides, like, you don't really need um, the Throne Room as much anymore. And of course, it always has a chance of backfiring on you if you play against another Po Maz uh, in the mirror or something like that. And generally, those decks tend to resolve their dice very quickly, so that's why you wanted something to disrupt your opponent. So, rolls in the FM, and as a trigger, he can roll in the F, uh, the um, the troop, the Death Trooper with uh, Wingman. Oh, I, I didn't really think you could have Wingman on both of the Death Troopers. Yeah, Ernest, we mentioned that earlier. There's 30 players that came out to the event today. Uh, unfortunately, Star Killer bases John Gobey. He couldn't have made it out today. Uh, we were really hoping to have him maybe commentate the top four if he didn't make it, but uh, he had a, his daughter's dance recital to go to, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Which, yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, FN's getting to the danger zone now. Yeah, Paz, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Maz is almost dead too. She only has two HP left. Uh, here's a training on Death Trooper, so that's another, uh, another die for Death Trooper becoming elite. Uh, Jason heals two damage with that field medic, taking uh, her out of the danger zone. Uh, however, roll. that's a four. Was that four? Three dice. Three damage. Three, sorry, three damage roll. Uh, of course, imperial training or discipline, rather. It is a the ability is what you remove the imperial training to resolve any dies though it's showing range damage, right? Any red die. Uh, I think that's what imperial training does. But that looks like a claim from Jason, removing the Death Trooper 2 range side. So again, you can see the, the usefulness of the... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you can, use, you can discard it to turn one of your, char your character upgrade dies to a range damage or a resource. Oh, all does is turn, so you have to spend another action yeah. to resolve it. Okay, so fairly slow, but then again, this uh, deck is, is going to be slower than most of the other decks in the meta right now. Well, I mean, it's nothing to do with that die when, when it's not on a good side. It's already on a resource side, so it's not terrible now. Yeah. Looks, it looks like a discard from Steve to reroll. Uh, I think he has one dollar showing, so he could potentially maybe finish off Maz here. So not, not quite enough to finish Maz, even if he removed the Imperial Discipline. But he's just gonna try to see if he can get a range side here. Oh, bad luck for Steve there. Ran out of cards, but he is going to. Do two damage with that. Yep, do two damage. Spending a dollar there. So Maz sitting at six again. Of course, Jason's going to get the first action here, so uh, Maz may have an opportunity to do something before she falls. I think I just saw Jason draw another hit and run. 
can okay. be mistaken there. Yeah, so uh, I think that's what we're going to see Jason lead off with. I figure Steve was probably due to draw one of his uh, tactical mastery, so yep. he might have had a chance to get FN resolved, but not this way. All right, so here's a hit and run with a disrupt and a special big for Jason. And then with the ambush action, rolls out Maz, and now uh, Jason can resolve two of his dice. So this might be a dead FN here. And they, Jason's asking how much health uh, FN has, and there's the new win. Yep. So dead FN, two damage on each of the death troopers. So now each of the death troopers have five HP left. This decides where that yep. old block is going to go. So okay. it splits up the dice. Makes sense. All right, and now uh, Steve has actually have ability, the option to re roll out all the dice in his pool now with that wingman plus uh, death trooper. Yeah, see if he has an upgrade that he wants to play first. Yeah. But but now Jason still resolving the second of his two dice from Maz's ability. There's one damage into that training. Okay, so six damage on that Death Trooper. So in Jason's hand, I see a defensive position, which could be a huge mastery. Yeah. yeah. Two actions. Okay, so it could potentially uh, eliminate Maz from the board here with a good roll. And we see a two range. That's enough to kill Maz there. Uh, and four range in total. So yeah, you're just gonna fizz up, finish off Maz here, I think, what you do. So yeah, two to Maz. Maz is dead. Two to Poe, knocking that shield off, dealing one. Yep. Okay, and I think that was his two actions there. It was. So the Frozen Waste not really going to do anything on Jason's side um, if he does claim. So I think this was a pass, maybe, on Jason's part. Maybe see what Steve does next. Hero Discipline, there we go. Another die. So he must have claimed. Oh, he must have claimed. You're right. Okay. Yeah. And he's trying to discard to maximize. Although I, I don't know the, about the wisdom of that because you really only have one side, one damage side that you can can do because he doesn't have the money to do the two damage side. Sure, but if the cards aren't going to be doing anything else, yeah. Okay, so uh, Jason still has a very dangerous Poe if he draws like a thermal detonator. Uh, thermal detonator would put uh, that training death trooper on one health. The other one on two health, well, sorry, three health because of that shield. Um, Steve's money production is going to be very low now, so he has to be very careful about how he spends it, which of course makes Poe's disrupt side actually kind of relevant here. No, that was a, he discarded a suppression, not a best defense. No, there was a best defense oh, discarded earlier, yeah, when he uh, went to reroll, I think. Okay, so there's that disrupt I mean, that I was talking about. At this point, it makes sense for him to discard it because he's probably not going to have control of the battlefield. Although, I mean, you could put one of your Death Troopers at 9 damage to get rid of both of uh, Poe's dice, and then you basically have the turn, right? Yeah. To do whatever you want. So, DL44, uh, Cheap Blaster. Is it the DL44? It's, I can't remember what they're called. DL17. DL17. 44 is that. Or DH17. DH17. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, we see actually another undying loyalty in Steve's hand, so that's the uh, the card where he can heal a damage and then put it back on top of his deck if he spends the money. Uh, but Jason disrupted the last resource in Steve's uh, pool, and wow, what a whiff! Ugh. That, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Inkmoth. Are you sure you're watching the right game, Inkmoth Nexus? It's a magic card. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but thanks for watching, though. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, man. sorry, you're right. I, I've been playing bad snap, so I always get, I keep defensive getting defensive position, position and best, best defense. defense yeah. yeah. Oh man, planetary uprising. That's huge. You're right, Galmak. I Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing pretty good today, not making any major mistakes. But. I mean, it's pretty hot in here. It's starting to addle our brains a bit. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of plus sides. <laughs>
Well, I mean, he could use Imperial Discipline to change one of those into a thing, but here's this blowout defensive position. Jeez. Wow. I think I just claim here so that he can't do that next round. Yeah, but I mean, look at Jason's hand. He's got a rocket launcher and he's got a U Wing. And it looks like Jason. And you just, avoid a Planetary Uprising. Like, yeah. you, you totally claim it. No, but see, he took the shield instead, and then Jason uh, claims in response, and that's going to put um, Death Trooper at six. Okay, so they're both sitting at six damage. Yeah. So, uh, not quite dead to a thermal detonator yet or a U Wing activation, but uh, a good. Uh, range side roll by Poe could put either one out of commission. So here's a discarded reroll and takes another shield. Just, yeah. If you don't have the money. So here's uh, Undying Loyalty. He heals the damage, but he doesn't have a resource to put it back on top of his deck, unfortunately. Uh, so he doesn't, he doesn't get to put it back on top and maybe use it again next round. So, uh, Jason's plan here, I think he's he's ran out of hit and runs. I don't know if he's discarded any of his fast hands, but we're looking at, uh, sorry. We're looking at uh, maybe Jason just aiming to get those range sides and then claiming. So, with the range side, you could probably put a uh, Death Trooper at like one or two damage. Uh, and here is the rollout by Steve. Looks like there is only uh, one damage side showing on his side. Bunch of disrupt, but yeah, he's, he's not. His his rolls haven't been that hot this game, and uh, even with the Imperial Discipline, he hasn't been able to apply that damage pressure that he should be doing. And this is Jason, yeah, fishing for a di uh, for a special or a, or another damage side maybe. Uh, disrupt still a reasonable play against a double death trooper, but I still think that you want to end the game as quickly as possible. Yep, discarding a probably useless wingman here. And there's there's a uh, uh, okay, that's more more like it, <laughs> more like what he's looking for here. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage, and another defensive position. Ouch. Now, well, you were saying earlier, Travis, like he should have claimed, right? Yeah, he, he, he avoids the defensive position. 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 He avoids the defensive and Jason hasn't put a fast hands on Poe yet, so like there's that. But uh, I think that's three damage onto that Death Trooper, so I think that's eight damage, seven damage. Wasn't it a five? Yeah. He had a shield on him. Yeah. So I think that was uh, Steve claiming Steve first. Steve must have yeah. claimed, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, he knows at this point, like, he can't take too many planetary uprising uh, triggers at this point. <clears throat> so, Steve, tactical mastery. Oh, hoping for a huge roll here. So rolling both because of Wingman as his first action. Uh, looks like he's got some rain size at least. Looks like a two, Double. one. Maybe looks like four damage there in total. Yeah. I think I just resolved them now. I know both uh, defensive positions are in the bin, but um, this one is an ambush card. That's the one you were talking about earlier. You can reroll as many dice as you have red characters. So maximizing damage. Uh, whoa, another range side. Yeah, just resolve them, them now. Resolve them now. Do it. So that's two, three, four, five damage. So Poe sitting at four, uh, health, four health, yeah. And I so, think this is Jason just playing out a rocket launcher, maybe? He's thinking about it. I mean, playing out the rocket launcher is not. You're not going to have the resources to use it. 
Well, what if Jason just claimed there, actually? Oh, jeez. That's no, a big he's gotta, one. He's got to do a little bit more damage. Okay, that's that's actually decent. Like, that that kills uh, the wingman death trooper straight out. Actually kills either of them. But you probably want to kill the one that's training on it, because the other guy has a holdout blaster. So you don't want that to, to move over to the uh, the training. Well, those are, those are both two. So, yeah, that'd be enough to kill one. Yeah. Um, so let's see if Steve has any sort of uh, mitigation here. Maybe a like suppression. Steve, well, I can't. He can't play yeah, suppression. Yeah. Yeah. So does he have a doubt? I saw a doubt in his hand earlier. So this is okay. This is him killing the death trooper. No. What? What just happened? There? He, he's, he was supposed to take four damage there, right? Uh, I'm guessing... Oh, he claimed. Sorry. So, as we were saying earlier, uh, because there's no table mic, we don't know exactly... Like, we can't hear it when Steve or Jason claims the battlefield, so we assume that Steve claimed the battlefield, removing that uh, die, one of the range damage die from Jason, and so then, yeah, made him live a little bit longer, which allows Steve to, uh, to roll out again first. We do see a doubt in Steve's hand, so uh, he does have an option to keep his guy alive a little bit longer, hopefully. But uh, Steve's turned this into a into a real game. Actually, I was I was worried when that uh, FN went down, and you know uh, the planetary oh, uprising really... and the defensive positions. But yeah. So here's the all dependent on this roll now. Yeah. Oh, I think I think uh, Steve's used both of his tactical masteries, though. He has. Yeah. So just but he roll. Both of his hit and run. So yeah. Still so gonna have a chance. This is just gonna come down to who rolls better, I think. So, Steve rolling out Death Trooper. Are you going to roll out the Wingman guy or no? I wonder why you wouldn't. This is a, uh, he's thinking of the redeploy with the blaster, uh, but I don't think it's okay. worth it. So, yep. Deal. The, uh, that Han Solo blaster removes... Uh, well, Steve got to choose what to remove. But I think that's three damage showing on uh, Steve's red dice there. So that's uh, three damage going into Poe, so Poe's sitting at one. And now that Imperial Discipline becomes a real threat. Now, now this delay looks better, because if he kills him, he's yep. going to be overwrite the wingman with the holdout uh, blaster. Yes, very smart. Very smart on Steve's part. Yeah, you don't need that wingman anymore. So, but he claims instead. Did he claim there? Or maybe he just took the battlefield back on the inside. Indicating that he has it already. Hi, Tim. So that's a local uh, player, yeah. Tim, right? Yeah. yeah. Tim, there are uh, 30 players here today. So Steve still has three resources, so uh, there's a bunch of sides on those blasters that are dangerous. Again, uh, all Steve needs is one damage to finish Poe off. So, we could be looking at a clutch victory by Steve here, potentially. Wait, wait, puts a training on. Oh, hold on a second. That's four upgrades. Oh, okay. You get rid of the Imperial Discipline. That's probably not the right call, I don't think. The Imperial Discipline, it ensures that you have a damage side showing, but... I don't know. Yeah. Given that you only need one damage for me at this point, I, yeah. I would be inclined to agree. Bruce, is that true? Are you sure it wasn't like a, the DH-17 blaster? I know from far away they kind of look the same. Okay, okay so there, damage. there's the hand.